synagogues who are believe that the gun, the gun can make you rule a nation. I can tell you if a gun could rule a nation, Idi Amin will be president in Uganda after now. But it was a small man called Nyerere. Nyerere chased Amin out of Uganda and Amin died in exile in Saudi Arabia. In a country called Central Africa Republic, there was a gentleman there known as Bokasa. And Bokasa said he was an emperor. He was equal to Napoleon. Bokasa died in France in a castle where there was no heat for the winter and he died a miserable death. I can tell you the whole army in South Africa took Mandela to prison and said Mandela will die in prison. But the people united in South Africa, the black people, who have the blood and spirit of the Kenyan people who are rising against oppression and dictatorship, they made sure that Mandela came out after 27 years and he became president of the Republic of, of South Africa. We know, we know, we know. Whether you do any dirty tricks, the people of Kenya, has, they have made a statement. They have made a statement. You can bring all commissions, you can bring all chebukatis, but people in Kenya now believe that Ruto stole the election. Full stop. And we are, we are giving him, we are giving him a way out. If truly you won the elections, why you are afraid to open the Sabbath? I can just repeat the old saying that the guilty are afraid. The guilty are afraid. Raila Molodinga has said, if you open the Sabbath, he will go by what is in the service. Yeah. Why can't you make that commitment and say, I am ready? If the servers are open, I will be able to accept the results. Because Shebukati and the commissioners, they did a great electoral injustice to Kenya. And I once said, because I'm an advocate who has practiced law for a long time. I can say this about the Supreme Court of Kenya. I can vouch like a lawyer. that the decision that you made yes. in the petition the Raila filed last year, yes. you will die in shame because you know what you did. You know what you did. And there's nothing you can do to me to criticize your decision. You will know that you made the wrong decision. And the truth is going to come out. The truth is going to come out. We are not afraid of any institution in this country because we have a constitution that spells out what should be done. And therefore, therefore, we are not going to give up. We have only one leader, and once he has pronounced himself on an issue, nobody else, until otherwise, can talk about reversing that decision. Therefore, we are saying as the Luo Nation that tomorrow, in all the Luo counties, plus the friendly counties, which are the majority in Kenya, all counties should be shut, and no business should continue until that day I am saying otherwise. I want to say this to the illegitimate government. The deputy of the, the illegitimate government once said that Kenya is a company. If it's indeed a company and we don't have shares, then we don't have issue by paying tax. We should not be paying tax because we are not shareholders. Until such a time that they enlist the shares of that company for public to buy is when they are supposed to collect taxes from the people.